What's up guys? This is Hylian Mum and today in Grounded I'm going to show you how to complete the Pond Lab and get to the Pond Lab Super Chip. So we are here in the Pond Depths where the Pond Lab entrance is. If you don't know where this is we have a guide that can show you how to get here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to be scanning the biometric scanner that is up here to the right in the supply room. That's going to get us our first access to oxygen here. Alright, so we're going to go up here into the pond lab. We've got a cassette here. We've got a file folder you can get in this room. And over here, we have a lever that we need to pull. And this is going to tell us that we have errors and need to reset the three breakers in order to get power grid control back. So, over here as well, if you go into this side, this is a bed respawn point. We also have an archer in here. So we're just going to take care of that guy. And you can set your spawn here and get another file folder if you like. So to reset the breakers, I do suggest that you have a bubble helmet with you. You can do it with a ghillie tube, but it is very uh, challenging, one of them, to get there and back to oxygen in time. So I do suggest you invest in the bubble helmet. You will also need a slime lantern as there's one part of the lab you need to go underwater and it is very dark. So I do suggest having a slime lantern for this as well. So what we're going to do is go back down through the entrance where we came in, through the supply room. Down here at the bottom, we're going to turn left. And what we need to do is get the three breakers there and unlock, unlock this door right here. So the way you can do this is by basically just following the cords. We've got our first one right here, easily visible. So we're going to follow the cord over and just activate this breaker. The second cord, we can see it goes down over there to some roots. So we're just going to swim down over there. Now, there are some diving bell spiders who are over here by the roots. I just ignore them and swim past. Just swim down here quickly. Turn the dial. And out we go. The third wire is a little bit further. It basically snakes around the back and goes all the way over to here. So we can see a little bit of red down there. That is the third breaker inside this broken off lab part. So the way we get to that is we've got to go through the tunnel basically. And the way we get into the tunnels is over here with a broken window. So just swim down, swim up through the window, going down the hall, turning up to the right. There is a scabby ahead right down there that you can grab. We're gonna turn to the right and go down where we can reset the breaker. There we go. So that is three, and that gets us our opening, the hub doors. So we're going to go back, turn to the left, go down, turn to the right, to the broken glass, and out. And there we go. So that's why we want the bubble helmet, because we can do all three breakers at once and have time to swim back uh, to the bay doors where they've opened. Whereas if you use the ghillie tube, you have to rush back to oxygen each time, usually. So now we have opened and unlocked the hub doors for the pond lab. What we have is if we hit this door over here and open it, it just connects us to our spawn bed place where we are there. What we want to start with is the green unlocked door on that side. So we're going to go over. If we go that way, it's just a locked door for now. What we're going to do is turn to the left. I'll start working on my acceptance speech. We've got another file folder we can grab here. We're going to keep going straight. And here we can see on the other side of this window is a PC. And that's what we need to get there. We need to mash those keys. And this here is the place where you need the slime lantern. So we're going to equip our slime lantern here. Night. Make sure we have our we ghillie tube on or bubble helmet. The inky depths of the night. And we're going to go down this path to the left that went down under the water. And you can see here the first room we have a hole in the floor. So we're going down. There's a, loot, there's a loot box here that we can grab. And if you turn this way, you will see a little path. We're going to go through here. Another hole in the ceiling here now. So we go up. Continue forward around all the debris. And this is why it's important to have a light. Because it's really easy to get stuck in here. 
And there are diving bell spiders in here. So you just keep going until you're all the way through the hallway, and there we go. So now, we are on the other side of the window here, where we have some more stuff to grab, and our PC here, where we're gonna mash the keys. And there we go. That unlocks the door, so now we can access the biodome. So all we have to do now is backtrack down this hallway. Another file we can grab. And the door on this side has unlocked now, so we can just turn to the right and continue back where we came from. And then right here, what has happened is that we have also unlocked a door where all of the tasties and archers have come out. So we're just going to take care of these guys. There we go. We got three tasties there, and we should have some archers. So what happens is that this is the one door we've unlocked, but the door on the opposite side here has tasties and archers. And when you hit those keys, you unlock them, basically, and let them out. So that's why we have to come over here and deal with these boys. Now that they're dealt with, we're going to go over here to the door we've unlocked where the footprints are leading, right? So we can see the footprints and the logo here on the door. This is the biodome. So we're going to go up here. And we'll have a couple more tasties to deal with here. There we go. So there's some things you can get in here. Cassette, a files, uh, a scabby. We're going to go up the ramp though here. And these here as well are muscle sprouts that you can collect, which are really useful for smoothie mixes. If you keep going, we've got the path that leads up here, and we've got a cassette to grab, the PC to activate, mash the keys, and that opens the biodome doors. And here we have the pawn super chip. So that is what we are looking for in this whole objective, and there we are. Hopefully this helps anyone who was looking for the pawn super chip. As always guys, be kind, stay legendary, and may the Triforce always be with you. Hylian Mom out.